real quick too, I, I noticed that Angela, you have your your Johnny Cardenas t-shirt a mutual friend of ours who unfortunately is is no longer here was that was a huge kind of shock to to me personally because i literally saw him like four months beforehand that was probably the last time i got to see him which yeah. was full or sorry no 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 a, uh last year sorry last year mm-hmm. and the the last so my story is and I want to get your story of when like the kind of, you know, your favorite kind of memory with, with Johnny and whatnot. And one of mine was the last time I saw him and it was for Diego's of MS machine. He was doing the, uh, the hoods got talent where in Angela, you were, uh, you were a part of this too, where they, you play like but, two. Wait, like, wait, can I interrupt you again? I'm sorry. I like to interrupt a lot. Um, <laughs> All the fucking cool bands got to play day two, okay? That's all I'm going to say. All the fucking cool bands got to record fucking day two, all right? The other than that, yeah, continue, continue on. <laughs> uh, no comment on that, but what I was going to say is is we, re- we recorded on day two, uh, and uh, yes, I believe I, <laughs> I believe that, that, like, it was so cool, too, because it was – it was kind of right when, you know, in the middle of the, the pandemic, I hadn't seen a lot of people and Johnny was there. It, it just randomly, he was just hanging out. He wanted to check out some of the bands and, and just hang like old times. And, mm-hmm. and he watched our, it, it basically what it was is the hoods got talent. You play two songs, either two or three times um, that you played it a couple times, whatever they would pick that kind of the tightest one. And, and that's what the video was that was released and whatnot. And so Johnny was there. I, I was like, Hey, well, what's going on, man? He was just telling me that like he was going through some health stuff and, and it was so good to see him. And so we played and then after we all just kind of hung out and, and that was some of my favorite times, you know, going to grill them all with him. So, and, and whatnot. And I'm just curious for you, Angelo, you know, can you give me like one of your favorite memories with, with Johnny and just like help me kind of document him and, and cement his legacy in, in, in something. So, I met Johnny, I, and, not, and I'm not sure exactly when it was, but it was when, it was shortly after I joined Anger's Art. So, that was 2006, 2006 or seven. When did I play Seattle? 2009. Okay, so it must have been about 2000, <clears throat> it, it, was, it was right after I left Heretic, or, 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 or Hyrax. So, um... That was right about the time that I met him, because um, I, I I didn't really know that whole group of people up in that area, and 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 and, and uh, uh, Steve and uh, at, at the time Dave Chedrick, our drummer, um, uh, um, uh, who played guitar, William William uh, Restrom would play guitar, and uh, uh, and and so those and Steve Gaines obviously introduced me to a lot of really cool people. John he just happened to be one of them. You know, and it was at it was at one of our our, our local gigs. Um, in fact, his band might have even played. I'm not even sure, um, but I just know that I met him, and he was like a super cool dude. You know, you, you don't exchange phone numbers anymore. You say, "Hey, what's your uh, what's your social media?" Do? You know, so I got his Johnny's gu- gu- uh, Johnny's uh, guitar garage thing, and followed him on it all the time. Loved his fucking quotes. Loved his "Hey, motherfuckers," you know. Um, what, what he what, it was a, a, a metal Monday. Uh, it was a, a sexy, sexy Sunday Sunday. Yeah, he, he had all these fucking cool things, dude. I loved fucking following him. Anyway, um, the guy who does the work on my guitar, he was like super backed up, and I needed some work done. And I'm like, fuck. I go, who can I get? Somebody, I so I posted on Facebook, uh, hey, anybody local LA, you know, know a, a good guy for some, some guitar work, and a bunch of people, dude, Johnny Cardenas, Johnny Cardenas. I'm like, oh, fuck, Johnny Cardenas, yeah. So I follow this dude. Mm-hmm. I called him up and said, dude, I told him what I wanted to do. Fuck, dude, he hooked it up, man. It's right in the back down there. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's right there. Anyway. He did a fantastic job. He he rewired it, put new saddle, new electronics, new everything, and and this and this thing fucking purrs like a bulldozer, man. And 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 I just 
you know, dropping the guitar off. You don't just drop the guitar off. You sit there for two hours and you just talk, you know. He's, was a, a just had so much fucking music knowledge in his head, you know. Um, and, you know, he, he was, and, and, and a staple in the, in the L.A. music, in the L.A. thrash, you know, music, Family. I guess there really isn't a scene anymore. I guess we have to call it a family because, you know, I mean, same with you, Tanner. I mean, you're part of that family, you know. Um, and we have occasional gigs in warehouses and, 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 and dumpy clubs and stuff. Um, it's what we have to do these days. But you know what? It's, you know, we fight on and, and you know, we forge forward. And Johnny was just that dude. Johnny was just, just that guy. You know, he fucking was a big supporter of the scene, you know, um, was a great musician and a good friend to a lot of people, you know, because I cannot tell you how many posts, you know, that were on his page when he, when he passed away. Even people who, I didn't know he was that bad. I mean, I knew that he had some health issues, but um, that was one thing he didn't do was... Um, burden people with that because he was just spreading so much love and so much joy. Oh. So yeah, uh, you know, um, so I don't have one particular memory. I just have a memory of him and, and, and I hope he's missed by the metal community as much as he's missed, you know, with, with our family. Absolutely. He, again, that was a big shock to wake up to that because I literally just thought I saw him like a couple months ago. <laughs> you, you did. Know? Yeah, he probably did. So that and, happened quick. And like I say, he was super, super quiet about it. And the best part that I loved about him real quick before we get off of here and, and whatnot is that the first, like one of the first times I met him, just super welcoming, you know, it wasn't, that's not really it. Like not a lot of people do that, especially here in LA and whatnot. So it was just super kind of awesome that, that somebody was, you know, welcoming to, to everybody. Mm -hmm. Especially somebody from Orange County, because <laughs> yeah, we let you guys in from now and from from now and again. So yeah, 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 exactly. But my point is, but the first kind of moments that it was like we had known each other for years. He was that kind of person to me, and I'm sure he was like that to a lot of people. You know, it was like the first time you met him, it was like hugs all around and just super cool. And then the next time we got to, you know, hang out and whatnot, it was just all talking about music and you're right angela he was kind of like an encyclopedia almost kind of like what me and you and and, and john over here are of, of just music in general so you know a huge rest in peace to to johnny and just it's i just again i wanted to play some sort of tribute to him